Positopians and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> don't you want to vibe? Just one more time, baby. Don't you miss having me by your side? Where we used to ride? Where we used to ride all night? How are you guys doing today? Happy Monday. So yeah, today's Monday. You know what that means? Meal prep Monday. Sorry to disappoint, but once again, I'm not meal prepping. But I do have some fun stuff to share with you guys. And I can't wait to tell you about how my last week went. And by fun stuff, I mean the reset diet. Before I hop into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. I greatly appreciate your support. And I am so thankful for all of my faithful subscribers. All right, y'all, let's hop into it. Like I said, for the last week, I've been doing the reset diet. And I'm gonna explain you guys exactly what the reset diet is. But first, let me give you a little bit of background about where I got this idea from. So if you know me, you know that I'm a huge Kardashian fan. I love the Kardashians so much. So when Khloe did her spinoff show, Revenge Body, I could not wait to dive right into that and just see what it was all about. And I can tell you right now, it didn't disappoint. I love the show. I love the whole concept. And I just wish I could be on the show. Unfortunately the show hasn't aired since 2019 i think they're done airing as far as i know but i do get to rewatch episodes and enjoy watching revenge body on revenge body there was one episode in particular that really spoke to me i don't remember the girl's name but she was a former addict and she ended up losing quite a bit of weight while on the show and the way the trainer had worked with her really like resonated with me for some reason and so i decided to try what he had done for her i'm gonna get into the diet part but right quick i just want to tell you something that she said that really resonated with me and it echoed through my mind this entire week she said i'm an addict so i have this addictive personality and i need instant gratification instant gratification is a term that has just been bouncing around in my head all week as i've been trying to stay consistent and stay on this reset diet as i mentioned in my previous videos i'm struggling with food addiction struggling with overeating and having an addictive personality is part of that problem because i need the instant comfort the instant gratification that comes with food or other substances that people may use when they have addictive personalities fortunate enough for me i'm only addicted to food i haven't done drugs i haven't done alcohol nothing like that i'm just hooked on food and the feeling that it gives me and how it makes me feel and luckily i'm working really hard to shake that and it's an easy addiction to shake not easy but it's easier and lighter than another addiction probably would be any addiction is hard to face and it's because we need instant gratification so let me go ahead and get into what the reset diet is basically the reset diet is a way to reset your metabolism and get you prepared to lose the most weight that you can possibly lose and get your body ready to just get rid of it. It is a three phase program and I made my own kind of, you know, remake of it. I don't know specifically what kind of shakes or um, smoothies that the trainer on Revenge Body actually used, but I went ahead and just modified it and made it easy for me. Cheaper for me, of course, because what the Kardashians do and what the Kardashians offer is way more expensive than anything that I could ever afford, but I went ahead and made my own rendition of it. And so I completed phase one this week and I'm super excited to tell you guys all about it. Phase one actually consists of only smoothies. So this whole week I've only had smoothies and little crunchy snacks in between, which is allowed. But mostly I've carried my entire week on smoothies. And it's exciting because I actually got the right amount of protein. I got enough nutrition from these smoothies to carry me through the week. I wasn't hungry, I wasn't starving, I wasn't constantly thinking about food. Well, maybe for the first few days. But like, they carried me through the week and they were super nutritious, super protein packed, and just awesome. The first smoothie is a breakfast smoothie. I just blended um, strawberries, blueberries, um, almond butter, almond milk. And then I added in a little bit of avocado and a little bit of chia seed. And that one was super delicious. It almost tasted like a PB&J kind of thing. It was very good. Then for lunch, I had a spinach smoothie, which I know some of us are like, ew, the green smoothie. But the green smoothie was actually really delicious. The key to the smoothies I figured out is the bananas because when you add half a banana to your smoothie, it sweetens it and it takes some of that nasty greeny flavor away. And so like the bananas have carried the smoothies. So the lunch smoothie is um, spinach, mango, a cup of almond milk, chia seeds, one fourth cup of pumpkin seeds, pepitas, and then a half a banana. And that smoothie is so delicious, so awesome. I highly recommend it because I'm not a green smoothie type person. 
person but that one was super awesome and i feel like i was full after drinking it the final smoothie is the dinner smoothie and it was kind of like i kind of made my own but um i definitely looked up some extra protein ingredients to add into the smoothie but um for dinner i was doing a blueberry and a little bit of strawberries not as much as in the morning but like mostly blueberries oatmeal um traditional rolled oats yes rolled oatmeal blueberries and then i added some chia seeds almond milk and sometimes i would put the almond butter in but if i didn't really want the almond buttery taste i wouldn't put it in <laughs> and then and then for the dinner smoothie you add in kale and so again the green element you want to add half a banana and then it just completely wipes out the taste of the kale but you're still getting that delicious green nutrient that you need so you eat a you do a breakfast smoothie you do a lunch smoothie and you do a dinner smoothie i did it at 9 a.m 12 between 12 30 and 2 usually because i'm always editing and doing vlog stuff so between 12 30 and 2 is when i did my lunch smoothie and then six o'clock no later than eight o'clock no later than 7 30 really for the dinner smoothie and so i just knocked those two smoothies out and like honestly it was so much easier than thinking about what i have to eat or what i'm going to eat today or do i want to cook do i want to go out no i'm gonna make a smoothie it's already there it's already ready i'm gonna do it and so that made things a lot easier for me as far as meal preparation and then in between those three smoothies i was able to get in lots of water so much water plenty of water hydrated myself this week loved it and some crunchy snacks so we're talking raw almonds we're talking apples carrots with hummus some celery tomatoes whatever you like um that's in the healthy realm and it's kind of a crunchy snack that's what you want to do and this week just it flew by honestly like i'm so impressed with myself that i was able to stay on track for a whole week and do the damn thing. I actually vlogged a little bit midway through. I was gonna do like a daily vlog, but I couldn't keep up because I just have so many vlogs to put out, so much editing to do. And so I just did a midweek vlog of how I was feeling, how the first two days went, and really um, how I was expecting the last two days to go and just how the entire week was just awesome. I'm gonna insert that in here so you guys can see my midweek vlog. And I'm just really excited that I made it through phase one and I am so ready for phase two. So. Let me explain to you guys a little about phase two. Not too much because I'm gonna make a video next week about phase two, but phase two is two smoothies a day and then a meal consisting of protein and veggies. And so you wanna stay away from grains, stay away from carbs really, unless you can get them you know, in your vegetables. It's protein and veggies, protein and veggies. And when I did the Khloe Kardashian diet, that's essentially what this was, um, but I'm doing this in three phases instead of just jumping right in with the third phase. And so the second phase is, like I said, two smoothies. So I'm gonna do a breakfast and lunch smoothie and then I'm getting my big meal at dinner time, um, just because it's supposed to carry you through the nighttime and then you have your breakfast breakfast shake in the morning and you're good to go honestly if you're really struggling with addiction um with food addiction i really recommend this diet it was very easy it wasn't easy in the beginning i had a really bad headache my body was really on the withdrawals and it really wasn't easy in the beginning but the longer i went and the longer i said you can do it i sat down with myself i wrote in my journal and it just i kept myself going and everything seemed to work out so well and I feel great now and I'm actually, I'm gonna tell you guys, I lost eight pounds this week and that's minimal exercise. I exercised maybe two days out the week and it wasn't really like a whoo, hit workout, you know? It was like I walked up some mountain with my mom and then I walked with my sister and then I went to the gym one time with my mom and I did a little bit of cardio, but it wasn't like super intense hit workouts or anything like that. And so like I lost eight pounds and I feel great. I'm so excited that the weight loss has kicked off and I'm excited to see where it goes next. Like I said, I highly recommend this um, reset diet, reset fast, reset cleanse, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a diet essentially. It's just an easier way to lean into creating a healthy lifestyle for yourself because if you do it in phases you can learn more you know you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself that oh my god i have to make breakfast lunch and dinner first week you just make smoothies second week smoothies and one meal you can work one meal into your week and then the third week or the third phase you just do smoothie one smoothie and two meals and like it's easy it's helping you be able to work these healthier meals into your lifestyle one at a time and just really learn what you like learn what you want to cook learn what you want to have and it's just an easy way to kickstart your healthy lifestyle. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my weekly vlog here and then I'm going to conclude this video right after that. Hello, Chastatopians, and welcome to my midweek check-in. Um, 
this is a lot better than last week i'm just gonna say it now y'all can already tell that i'm more high energy right and i'm not like i'm not making this up i'm not faking i feel freaking amazing and i honestly think it's because i actually decided to go through with this whole process and actually do what i said i was gonna do and i feel freaking great this is week one of my smoothie reset diet and let me tell you guys about it okay starting monday which was memorial day so you know everybody was having a barbecue everybody was having a good time but not me i was drinking my smoothies i began the journey to the reset diet which is something that i saw on revenge body and i decided to make my own version of it so you're drinking your smoothies you're snacking in between crunchy snacks carrots apples almonds you can have some hummus in there whatever and you're just feeling great because you're literally you're kind of detoxing in a way but not necessarily detoxing but just like resetting your body and i feel awesome i've also been working out this week um with my mom which has been really awesome um to work on our relationship in that way and spend more time together and i just feel great this is my midweek check-in i was gonna check in every day but you know what i'd be forgetting so this is my midweek check-in i'm gonna be honest with you though let's talk about monday and tuesday first monday and tuesday were not the move i had a freaking horrible headache i was starving i was just like i was going nuts i wasn't actually starving but i was bored so it's like i need to eat and so like i was constantly thinking about food constantly thinking about oh my god i can't have food oh my god i need to eat oh my god i wish i could eat oh my god and i was just like fixated on food and there you go right there that's the addictive property that i was just thinking about food the whole freaking day like i couldn't think of anything else and i had really less productive days the first two days that i was doing this because it's like i just couldn't stop thinking about food okay so then i got to wednesday which was yesterday and i felt awesome i was feeling really great and i feel really accomplished like i have gotten so far into this and i haven't messed up yet and yesterday me and my sister actually walked to zaxby's and I sat there while she ate her wings and things and I didn't eat a dang thing. I got a cup of water and then we walked back home and it just, it was awesome to feel like I didn't have to eat, you know? Another awesome accomplishment for yesterday is I actually met my watch goals yesterday and I haven't done that in a couple weeks now. I haven't met my watch goals and that's really been crushed, like breaking my heart because I, when I first got the watch, I was trying so hard, burn this amount of calories, stand up and do my um exercise my one hour of exercise i don't have like high serious goals on on my watch but like i couldn't even do the basic stuff and now that i'm doing it again and i'm burning calories and i feel good like it, it feels awesome and i just i'm gonna keep going on this good track because it just feels so good and i can't wait to get my body in check the way i want it in check um so as far as the scale so far i got on the scale yesterday because i couldn't wait i was just really excited and i got on the scale and so I started 246 last week when I weighed myself. I weighed myself last Friday. Started 246. And I got on the scale today and I'm at 239. So that is really exciting. That is a whole, what, seven pounds gone. And that in itself is just exciting. Like, I know I said don't watch the scale. Don't watch the scale. But, like, it's just, it is exciting to see it fall off. Wow, today is already Thursday. I can't believe that. Okay. Remember, this is only phase one, week one, straight smoothies and snacks. And next week, I will start phase two. So I will let you guys know about that when I get there. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you really gained some new knowledge. And if you want to try this at home, please let me know in the comments down below how it went for you, how you're liking it, and if you're going to keep doing it and go through to phase two like I am. Phase two is going to be very interesting, um, being able to eat solid food and everything again. But I'm really excited, really pumped, and I'm already looking up recipes and things that I can cook for next week for my dinner meals don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel down below and don't forget to share this video if you know someone who needs a change in their life i love you guys so much and i'm so excited to be on this journey with you all i hope you guys stay consistent with me and i can't wait to see you next time adios chestovians